Parishioners and friends, uh, good day to everyone and welcome back to Father Alfie's Table. Today we're going to do something that I do not know how to do it. I'm not an expert in cakes, we're going to make a cake and I don't know how to do it, so therefore I had to invite um, someone that I know can make a really good cake, a German apple cake from someone who is actually German and his name is Rolf. I know him very well because he's the custodian of St. Joseph uh, Parish. So I deal with him almost on a daily basis, so we became friends. Rolf, come, thank you know for having Keep social distancing. Social distancing. And here is Rolf. Um, this is for uh, children's only. I'm Alfie and he's Rolfi. That's so how we call. The Elfie Ralphie team is here. Great. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Father. It's a pleasure to come to your table. So you are born and raised in Germany? Yeah, in Köln. I'm Rhein. This is for Köln, the home city. And that is where we have the relics of the three kings. Oh. And uh, I was there and I left Cologne in 1955 with my parents and we came to Canada and we lived for a while in Winnipeg and then we saw the light and came to beautiful Victoria. Now we just mentioned they have the relics of the three wise men, the Magi. Those are the three kings who came at the birth of Jesus to bring the gifts of gold, incense and Frankenstein. No, <laughs> Frankenstein. As a child, always a Frankenstein. No, Frankenstein, which is the uh, like the incense, the, the the smoke. It's about Halloween, so you know Frankenstein makes sense. Okay, so Rolf, uh, let's um, Rolfi, let's let's start and introduce the ingredients. Okay, uh, what I'm planning to do is thanks to my dear mother, she taught me how to do some German baking. And I always think in German you make a cake, you don't bake it. So I've got a, a proper scale here and I'll show you some of the tricks and to make it really easy. So I do not just go a pinch of this and a pinch of that. I have a degree in biology so science comes in and I go, you know, 500 grams, there it is exactly. So what we're actually making, in German they have a lot of words they put together to be very precise. So it is a, a gedeckte Apfelkuchen, which means a covered apple cake. And it isn't like your standard nice and fluffy or you know flaky. It's a little bit different consistency. It's more of a cookie type. And what I'm going to be using is a spring form. Spring forms you can get in Canada. And what happens with these, I will just show you, they come apart. And for this one, which was from Dr. Ecker, that's a big German baking company, you can, not that I'm using it this moment, you can put in different attachments and make a beautiful German marble cake or something like that. So basically what we're going to do is we've got flour, sugar, Crisco, we've got some apple pie filling. In the previous times, my mother would go get apples and make the beautiful compost and use that. I'm being lazy. But during this time of the pandemic, I even had trouble getting this. We're also going to add some raisins, but some people like them, some don't. So I'm going to cheat a little and I'm going to try to put only on half the cake. So you can sort of choose which type you want. We've got a pinch of salt, baking powder some eggs, a little bit of milk. And so I think what I'm gonna do is get started. Being a scientist, you know, we're gonna turn this little scale on here and then I'm gonna zero it. And so then from here, 
I can start adding the ingredients. So I'm gonna dump in some flour, which is 85 grams. We're coming up to 260, and then we're gonna get a little more delicate, and we are at 297, and just because I like to be accurate, I'm gonna to go to 300. And there we go, 300, bang on. So that takes care of the flour. And guess what? We don't have to do anything except go to zero again. So now we're dealing with, we've got the flour, now we're dealing with sugar. So we're gonna start here and we've got 55. You gotta be a little more careful with the sugar because it's, you only want a tiny bit. And father was here, you could see it's German precision at 100 grams, there we go. That was a pinch of salt I just put in there and that was nice and easy. Two teaspoons of baking um, powder. So just a normal North American way. One, two. So here's our vanilla. And we're just gonna There's our vanilla, okay? I'm gonna get one egg, and, and there we go, one egg. Super. And I'm just gonna check with water. Yeah, it's nice having a sous chef. Yeah, now I'm a sous chef. The Crisco works as a butter? Uh, the Crisco is your, your oil or... Yeah, it'll work as yeah, a butter. Yeah. yeah. So here I want 150, so I'm just gonna there we go, we got 150. Okay. So guess what, we've got all the measuring done. And then I'm gonna start mixing it all up. Okay, We're, we've got all the ingredients. And I got the apples for you. You I, got I, the, I, oh they love, you did all our work? I did it. You were up at six in the morning to do that. Yeah, what a saint. Can. Open the can. Oh, he's such a saint. And I say, danke schön. Danke schön. And, and the Italian, okay. Okay. okay, super. See, this is known as cooperation and, and a little bit of humor because we need that in this time with all the other problems in life. And uh, my wife had problems when we were first going together because in Germany, when I was young, we never had lunch on Sundays. We would have cake. Mm. Now that is super. So we, we, mom taught me, or I learned eventually how to do a whole bunch of cakes. And it was great because we'd have apple cakes, you can make a nice tort with cherries and then meringue on top. So that's what I grew up with. And then she said, how can you guys always eat cake? Well, you know, it's a, it's a good lifestyle. Cologne has, has a, one, is a wonderful culture and we have a carnival. And uh, the word cologne that you use in English like for, what's the right word, perfume, that comes from Cologne, because oh, that right? historically uh, there is a, a perfume factory in Cologne that has been there since the time of Napoleon. Wow. And when Napoleon took over Cologne, he actually initiated something new called house numbers. And there's a picture of a beautiful tapestry in Cologne of Napoleon putting the numbers on the side of the building. So that's a bit of trivia for, you know. I, I know my mom loved that cologne, so I bought some for my wife when I went to Germany with my son, and my wife said, I hate the smell of that, I hate it, so. Anyway, so this one, you just basically work it together. Um, of course, he washes his hands I did before. wash my hands before, yeah. yes. It's, it's really, uh, it's really Varsol. It's like a whale, no? Yes, that's all, that's good. Okay, good enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, is guess what, the little scale is back. So I'm gonna make this into three pieces of about 200 something each. 240, let's say 225. And I'm gonna go about, I'm just trying to, because you don't wanna run out on each. You're gonna make a thirds, and you need a third for each one. So there's 200. Divided in three. Yeah. And one. that's a little more, because they each are 200, so you get one, 600. One cake, right? three, three dough. That's right, okay. So what we're gonna do there, we'll use that one. Okay, now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna put it in here. 
And if it turns very good, it's because I sprayed. And I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna do it. You cheated already? You're a German. You're not yeah. supposed to no. cheat. Do you want this one? Uh, well, sometimes it's easier just to hand work this. Oh, I see. You make a, a, a layer of the, the yes. base. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to bake this for 10 minutes. Because if it was raw and then you put uh, the uh, apple on it, it wouldn't, you know, oh. you'd have a, you wouldn't have a nice firm crust. It would be messy. Oh, so we cook this first. We're going to cook okay. this first. Oh, that's why I, I, it made me turn the oven up to 350. Yep. And I'm, I need Father Alfie's help on this because yes. he is, of course, at a whole different level of chef. Yeah, and right. he has a gas stove. And I just have an electric one, so. So it may act differently. Yeah, it seriously, is they, each oh. stove is a little well, different. We've got a window and a light so we can keep checking. Okay. So I've got this in the, the bottom here. Okay, and then I'm going to take a fork. And I'm just going to do a couple of so that if it does, you know, I don't want to bubble and it doesn't go cook properly. So this now is ready to go into the oven. Okay. The sous chef will put it in the oven and we're going to do it for 350, please. Dr. Schur. De nada. On the bottom, right here? Yep, that's fine. So what I've got is, remember, we, we divide it into three equal parts, approximately, by weighing them. And so now I'm going to do the top of the cake because it's a Gedecta apple cake, covered apple cake. So to make it easy, this is the secret my mom taught me. I've got some parchment, cooking parchment. So I've got two layers there. And now, uh -huh. and now uh -huh. Father's going to hit me with this. And uh, I'm going to roll it out quite thin. Okay, okay so, so what I'm going to do, it's not perfect yet, but I'm going to cheat. I take this and I'm going to put the form because it's perfect size for this and I'm just going to physically uh, make an indent in the, um, in the cake. So I'm carefully going to lift this up and I'm going to try to fix it so it's perfect. So we're going to do some there. Remember, German stuff is about hard work and precision. And Italian stuff is about beauty. That's true. <laughs> beauty and death. So that's why we get well together, huh? Well, I know I don't have any great You're beauty, precise. so I'm done. That's it. I think I've got it reasonably well now. Okay, as you can see, I have a little more tweaking to do. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. I will now put this piece... Okay, so what I've done, I've got the top that is close to the right side. I'm putting the top on it, and Father Elfie's going to put it carefully in the uh, freezer go right and keep it le level as straight up. Yeah. Okay. Because I want, I'm going to end right, up with the, later. a flat, frozen top that I can use to make the top. So he's going to... He's going to bring out the bottom, which we cooked for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, so as you can see, it's because it's the spring form, we can just take the bottom and just lay it down there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let it cool for a few minutes. And we'll come back to you and show you what's next after that. Okay, we're back in business. We have the bottom part nicely cooked. Because this part wasn't in the oven, it's not hot, and I can handle the sides. So now my next job is to use some of this, and I'm going to make like a little rolling, like when you're working with plaster seams, right? So I'm going to do something like that. And what my mother taught me to do is you get your thumb, and you squish it against the wall and work your way through. So you can see I've attached it to the bottom and on the sides and now I've got to tidy it up a bit more and not make it too thick on the uh, on the wall because you don't want it. And I'm pushing the bottom with my thumb so that it's, it's a nice even, hopefully even layer 
and I'm not worrying about the very top I just wanted enough dough so that I can put my apple and the apple will go maybe three quarters of the way up on the side I'll put the top on and then I will do trimming as appropriate okay so what I've done is I've done that and as you see the top I just want to make sure it's up on the side like if it was only half an inch that wouldn't work it's got to be so it can contain the apple okay now we can put the apple in now we're going to put the can apple I in yes you can of you, please do is it called cake or pie no it's it's kuchen and this is the question is a kuchen I think it's more of a cake I wouldn't say it's okay so fill it up fill it up the whole thing everything oh my if I had the the time and yeah, yeah, the, my mother used to just get apples that she collected you know that were uh, had fallen from the tree and uh, she then uh, put them you know cooked them and it was more of a mash rather than here they're beautiful apple segments right and you know who loves this cake is Sandy so we should I know is our, I think uh, I know reception is so we should actually bring some hey eh? I think we should so what I'm going to do now, yeah, okay, oh, is okay. I want an even layer approximately. Okay, like that. So there, okay. Now, it's it's an uh, option. Here we've got some raisins. And if you like, you can add some raisins. If you don't, leave them out. And if you've got some members of the family that like it, what you can do is you can put... Uh, I'm the member of the family who don't like raisins. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to be selective. I mean raisins, my her tooth hurts. <coughs> so I put the whole bowl in for father. Oh, I, oh, you said don't. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. It, 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 it gave me a toothache. It's the sugar in that that goes inside. I don't know what it is. Okay, so it? that's what okay. I've done. Rafi, this was in the freezer, but it's not frozen because it was only 10 minutes. Okay, well, it's still good. what you're going to do, and this is where you're going to say some prayers to I don't I'm, I'm not talking to you right now because I'm very, being very careful. You know, if it's not perfect, it's more human. Perfection is an aspiration. Okay. okay. In the real world, okay, as you can see, in the real world, sometimes it doesn't yeah, go as planned. I, I'm going to use, that's what I'm using this oh, for. Using that one. And now I'm going to, this is my cheat sheet here. I can sort of carefully, maybe I'll use just the parsnip and make it flatter and put it together. In a way, it's good that this happened because, you know, it, yeah, so it, it, shows, it, it shows you what to do it. if things didn't quite go as planned. Okay, so. Uh, so, put it away, so, so what we've got at this moment is we've got that one boo-boo and we will get the knife again. I'm going to carve away carefully the excess from the side. So what I'm doing is, is not the part start stuff from the bottom but from the side, okay? Okay, Father Elfie, would you be kind enough? I would like one egg yolk. We don't white. need we don't yolk. need yolk. Okay. And, and uh, no white. Okay. And so we're not being racist here. here. No we just here. need the yolk because it's funny. And then we need a tiny bit of milk added, and you can stir it with this, so it's a nice. Um, I want to. So add a little milk to okay. that. So how much milk? Uh, just a, a smidge, like a teaspoon oh, or something. A, smidge. a tiny bit, a tiny bit. Oh, a smidge is a tiny bit. This is a new word I learned. And just stir them around a is bit. A We're smidge? using this, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Double smidge. Double smidge, there. Stir that around, and that'll be my cheating paintbrush okay. that'll put everything together. Voila, monsieur. Thank you. Rolfi. So what I'm doing now, I'm getting the egg yolk and milk, and I am carefully doing a paint job. I'm doing the edges, but as you can see, I'm, it seals the, the edges. And I'm doing a bit more here. And 
And then finally, I'm putting a nice coat over the top. And at the very end, when I broil the, the cake, and this goes very fast, you can't, you know, put it in and go have a cup of coffee. You gotta watch it like a hawk. You don't want a burnt top. It'll get a nice golden brown, which is hopefully what this is gonna do. So as you can see, even though we had a little whoops there, it looks not too bad. And now I'm gonna present this Gedeckte uh, Apfelkuchen mm. to Father Elfie. Okay. And he Where is the oven? In, the, in the oven, or the oven. Oven. Uh, for 350 or 350, yeah. depending what language you wish to use. 350. Yes. Let's stick with the, uh, what I know. The, and we're gonna do that for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes, okay. Because and right on the bottom, like that? Yeah, in the like middle is fine. Before. I meant the middle. Is that a middle? That, that's the middle. Yeah, that's fine. And now we're going to look at the time because... 350, quarter to five. So we need... We'll come back. 25 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to have a quick peek. I think mm -hmm. it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to ask Father to put this on the broiler now, and this oh. is where we have to be really careful. Same, uh, so broiler uh, has the broiler. Yep, yeah, that comes from the this top. one yeah. we go on high. high. Yeah. I'm just going to check this quickly. Uh, it's getting there, but not yet. We don't want to burn it. Okay guys, it's looking really good. It's time. It's time. Okay, so Father, don't burn yourself. Can we turn this off? Yes, please. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I hope it tastes good. Uh, I'm going to let it sit for a minute. We don't want to burn ourselves. And uh, we'll go from there. But it turned out the way I had hoped it would look. Smell good so far. Uh, but this is the crucial moment. This certainly because, is. Because as you know, this is when you look at something, it's so beautiful, so good, but we need to have the point of verification. This is essential. The essential question of the moment. It is really good or it is not, not good? Not so good. How do we do it? We taste we it. We taste it. Mm, it cuts well. I'm gonna mix more. But that's it for a tiny bird. I know, but you know who, how many people we're gonna share with? Okay, okay. All parish. Okay. Oh, that's true, that's true. I normally do a quarter of piece size of the cake. No, this is for you. Oh, this okay, okay. Give me your plate. Oh, look at that beauty. It smells good. Mmm. This is a taste, that's why it's taste. More. Yeah, it's true. That's then we true. eat. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Father, for alles. What? I said, thank you, Father, for everything, and meaning the Father in heaven. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. I can't tell you now because I'm busy eating. <laughs> no, no. Guys, mm. this, I'm not big. I'm not big in, in cakes, you know that. I don't like too many sweets, but this is not that sweet at all. It tastes so good. You know what it is? It's a German experience. That's the smile. Parishioners and friends, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen.